Hi, in this simulation tip we're going to take a look at the concept of symmetry. Whenever we have models that have geometric and load symmetry, it's to our advantage to cut those models into a, into a symmetric segment so that we can cut down on the, comp uh, on the compute resources that are going to be required. In this model you can see we have six equally spaced ribs, so the idea here is to create a cut feature that cuts the model and leaves just a 60 degree segment. So I've modeled that as a cut feature in SOLIDWORKS. Now when we want to analyze this wedge segment, we have to do one additional thing with our study. So let's first begin by creating a new static study. You'll notice that the material is already assigned to this model because that 1060 alloy had been assigned already to the SOLIDWORKS part. So all we need to do is assign the loads and restraints on this model. First off, let's assign from our external loads, let's use a centrifugal force. I can pick this outer cylindrical surface which defines the center axis of the centrifugal force and I'll put in 314 radians per second which corresponds with 100 RPM. For the restraints, or fixtures, we need to introduce a new kind of fixture which is found under the advanced fixtures and it's a symmetry relationship. The symmetry restraint is what is required for us to place on all of the faces that are affected by our symmetry cut. The purpose of the symmetry restraint is to restrict the nodes on these faces from moving out of plane. This is representing the fact that, that in reality there's geometry there that would resist that movement. So once we place the symmetry restraints, notice that in an XY coordinate system there are components of both X and Y in both of these symmetry restraints. So now the only remaining degree of freedom for this model is in the axial or the Z direction. So let's apply our restraint on the hub of our model in just the Z direction. From our fixtures command we'll go to advanced fixtures and use the one called use reference geometry. This is just a general purpose restraint where we can restrain in any of all three degrees of freedom. I need to specify a plane or an edge or an axis for the direction of this restraint. Since I only want to restrain in the direction of this axis, I can just simply pick on one of the straight edges on my part and SOLIDWORKS knows to apply a zero displacement restraint just in the Z direction. Now my model is fully restrained and I can run this with the default mesh. Now because we've cut the model into a one-sixth sixth segment, the model will run much more quickly. In fact, we can take advantage of the smaller model size and use a much finer mesh and get more accurate solutions. Now you can see here that the maximum stress is around 19.1 megapascals, slightly below the yield strength of 27.5 megapascals for the aluminum alloy. But just to compare to running an analysis with the full model, I've done one in the background and as I look at my stress results, you can see it compares very favorably, 19.3 megapascals. So results compare very favorably when you use a, sym a symmetric model versus the full model, but the advantage is your model size is much smaller so it solves more quickly and you can use a finer mesh for more accuracy.